Here's what a Nikor 4x5 stainless tank looks like for uh, developing film. This has got the wrong cap on it. But anyways, there's two versions of this tank. One of these has got, there's two different diameters on this. Uh, the original version they had uh, tended to pour out slower and then they changed this to a different diameter on this. So if you ever buy one of these used, the person who owns it may not know, but there's a different diameter that will tend to empty the film quick, the water, the developer and everything out quicker. This is what the Spyro looks like. I think you can put about a dozen different things on there. You can adjust the height here if you want to. If you got some film, it's got some different height because the film pack and a regular 4x5 have a slightly different height if you have to adjust it or you get some weird film. You slide the film in here from the side on here. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, sometimes when you use this, you may only fill it halfway, depending on what you want to do. People either love or hate these things. Um, it does have a long fill time to fill the tank up. So, what I often do, if when I was using this, I'd go through and use a more dilute developer because the time to take to fill a tank is longer. Or, if you're in total darkness, you can go ahead and load it just into the developer like that and then close it and then turn your lights on so uh, the fill time is not involved but you don't want to use this for anything that's like a real short time because it does take many seconds to go ahead and drain the uh, liquids out of there I've got a Omega cap on here but it's pretty beefy there's the patent numbers, 2218727 and at 207-3978, Springfield, Massachusetts. That's the 4x5 Nikor film tank that people either love or actually hate. I've had this for about 20 years.